ano, miss, may nami, alam ko may nami-miss kayo eh. Pero papakita ko sa inyo. Sir Jopet Season. Kamusta ka? Kamusta? Kamusta kayo lahat dyan? Atorning mo na ka sa lahat. Kamusta ka? It's been a while. Oo. Oh, ano oh. naman, nagpapaka-busy. Tuloy-tuloy trabaho. Tapos yung ano natin, Action mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. Naga, uh, bigi tayo ng payo dun sa, sa TikTok. Pwede rin kayong magtanong. Sinasagot namin doon. Kaya maraming uh, sumusubaybay. Mm -hmm. So tuloy-tuloy. Ang uh, ano naman eh. So may, na, may na marites ako. Oh, Balita marites. ako. Ha? Tatakbo ka lang. <laughs> Pero hindi natin mo sabihin. Huwag mo natin ispoil na. Ano naman? Iisip pa lang. Ano ba yun? 100 km? Yeah, sa <laughs> paikot na circle. <laughs> <laughs> Pero uh, alam kong tuloy na tuloy lang. Uh, ano lang? Tuloy lang servisyo. Dadating din yan kung may pagkakata. Oo. Uh, so, yung mga nangyari noong past elections, it's uh, learning at uh, experience. Tama, uh, tama. So, so this time, dahan-dahan naman, then proceed in. Tapos ano pa rin, learning pa rin, experience pa rin, kaya tayo, ang dami na nating learning. <laughs> Oo, ang daming learning. Pero, ato yung matangang matangang ko lang, ano masasabi mo sa sitwasyon ngayon sa Pilipinas? Ito, it's the reality, no? Oo. Kasi ang dami ng mga nang uh, manangyayari yung mga dating magkakasama Tama, nagkakahiwalayan uh, yung unity o oh, nauso kasi yung ano hiwalayan <laughs> oo nga ano simula sa parte so kasama pa lang ano natin oh, yung so, bansa natin akala ko kasi yung paghiwalay sa relasyon lang oh, kasama din pala yan sa politika ay lalo sa politika oh, naman okay. naman so attorney Jopet ano masasabi mo sa mga nangyayari yung mga nangyayari ngayon kung maalala ninyo nung kampanya mm -hmm. Na-predict natin yan eh. Na-predict yan ni Isko eh. Yes. Dahil yung dalawang grupo, uh -huh. na ang storya ng Pilipinas, umiikot to sa dalawang grupo. Uh -huh. Tapos ngayon na naupo, nagsasapawan. Uh -huh. So nag-away nag ang kinagis na natin. Kaya na nga, well, so, 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 nagbabalik tanaw tayo. Uh -huh. Sayang, di ba? Na-predict na natin eh. Uh -huh. Pero going forward, looking forward, eh, susubukan natin ano, hanapin yung mga pagkakataon na masolusyonan yung problema. At mabago. At mabago. At tingnan natin, kahit tayo nandito, participate hmm. para makita hmm. kung ano ba ang maya ang pag natin. Oh. So ito kasi, ito oh. yun, ang pinuntating ngayon ito ay uh, participate, multi-party summit. So ito ay iba-ibang mga grupo. Iba-ibang eh, partido. partido. Oh, oh. Na merong uh, uh, pinagsamang interes na makapagbigay ng pagbabago sa ating, uh, sa ating oh, proseso, tsaka, sa ating matas, mm -hmm. sa proseso ng partidong sistema ng partido mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. So pinag-uusapan, parang sige, makapag-contribute naman sa pagpapalakas ng mga partido sa Pilipinas. Hindi lang yung dalawa lang ang nag-uusap, mm -hmm. laging dalawa na dalawa na, na mumonopoli ah. Ay, bigyan natin ng pagkakataon so ito pala, ito na mangyayari. malaki sa sistema. Ang mangyayari pala ito, Tony, no? ano? parang sharing ideas. Sharing ideas talaga. Mm -hmm. Oo, ito ang summit na ito. Hindi pa ito team building? Uh, hindi, naman. hindi naman siya team building, pero uh, sharing ideas para makahanap tayo ng solusyon para mapalakas ang mga partido sa Pilipinas. Dahil lumalakas ang demokrasya din. So ano bang uh, message natin sa mga supporters natin from, from before until now? Nandito pa rin na nag abang sa mga ang, ang mensahe natin ang habol natin dito serbisyo mm. at kapakanan ng Pilipino kapakanan ninyo mm. hindi kapakanan ng individual o ng partido kayo ang importante kaya pagsamasamahan natin samasamahin natin ang ating mga idea para makahanap tayo ng uh, solusyon sa sistema sa serbisyo sa palawi ng kapakanan ng ninyo ng mga mga so lahat tayo ang bida tayo so, talaga <laughs> Attorney, nice to meet you again. Okay? It's been a while. Namiss ka namin. Ang sabi nga na, namiss namin yung attorney na guwapo. Eh, sabi ko, paano naman yung vlog? Eh, di ba guwapo? <laughs> attorney, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ingat ka. But I think the complimentary question there is, who do we promote it to, right? Um, para kanino, I scan the room and I can only see a very small percentage of uh, people in the youth sector and the uh, Pilipinas na pakalaki ng uh, population from the youth sector. And I may also need to point out that only two of the eight speakers are women. So if you're talking about inclusivity, I know you can see we have a speaker from uh, the, the, the women sector. 
So um, the question from my uh, end is really, for a country where majority of the voters are from the youth sector, what are your practical and relevant initiatives to draw in a sustained commitment from among the youth sector to support the political party system? Um, my invitation is for our speaker to provide tangible and relevant answers rather than philosophical and modern statements. Okay, I'd like to answer that. The youth. Yeah, <laughs> Um, you know who's really good at political party work? Students. In universities, you have really vibrant uh, political parties run by students uh, who have their own platforms, their own colors, their own uh, you know proposals. Uh, and I think we have some uh, political parties uh, from young students here. Ay naman dyan, yung mga kasangan sa Abayan Youth who also engage in political party work within their universities. And I think that actual experience of how student parties can represent the issues within their community of young people, I think that in itself provides you with um, advocates of these kinds of reforms if they are able to see the value of parties even within their communities. Um, at hindi lang yan actually sa students, even within um, those who run sa Sangguniang Kabataan, um, who were able to uh, create their own slates, although non-partisan now are asking, but we know na within those slates that they create, they are able to build programs, platforms for young people. And if we promote and encourage them to do something like this, naniniwala tayo na we have um, hopefully a broader constituency of young people pushing for this reform. Okay. Like the answer <laughs> so, uh, kami sa action, no, we're really into, lahat akong national president ng action kabataan, ngayon action katabaan na. So, <laughs> we really are coming really clear to build uh, young leaders. And in fact, our participants to the academy are um, officers of our action kabataan, si Arnold, si John, uh, Cedric. So, it's really important for us. And we see, even for SK, because I used to be the National Youth Commission Chairman, mahal ka for us ang kabataan. Uh, si Kong Ericius, uh, ano, nag-training ng SK. At hindi to SK na one side lang ha. Yung dalawang kampo, pinagsama niya in one room. We train them on leadership and governance. So mahalaga na meron mga tangible talaga na ginago for young people. We have very good opportunities talaga and venue to really train them on inclusive democracy and governance. Kasi a lot of them are really learning for the learning opportunities and I'm, I'm really thankful that many of the parties are also trying their best to really give that avenue for them to grow and learn. Okay, by the way, we have 15 minutes to go, so I'd like to accommodate more questions from the floor. I will uh, earnestly appeal to our panelists to keep them short and short. Okay. Sige, uh, ages tao eh. I really appreciate young people kasi alam ko naman na sila yung susunod na generasyon na magdadala talaga ng mas magandang, mas magandang lipunan. So, I think, uh, nakita na natin yan eh. Marami, marami na tayong tangible gains in regards to organizing the youth. So, halimbawa, no, sa, sa amin, speaking from our experience, nag-organize talaga kami ng Gabriela Women's Party from the youth sector. At well, because if it's going to be the same template right now, the media is not effective anymore. Ang effective influencers of Facebook. And that's the reality of it. Next question. Um, again, uh, we can talk about political parties, the value platforms, etc. at the dining table. But will it stick? Question is, what value does a political party represent to an average Filipino voter? So long as we are not able to solve that puzzle, political parties will remain weak and it will have a very difficult time swaying where the direction of 